All right, so this is Task Magic. It's a browser automation scraping tool. Let's you use spreadsheets to kind of scrape and manipulate and use variables for your data. And we're going to take a quick look at just a really simple automation that you can kind of connect together with another one. And right now we're going to try and scrape a bunch of stuff from a literary agency, like a book publisher. So let's just open it up. You can see we hit record. It's going to open up this little automated test software Chromium window. And I'm going to just paste in this URL I have for just a random literary agency in New York City. Uh, and let's just open that up. And so it's recording that first step of first go to this page, then we'll hit plus and we want it to scrape. We want to scrape a list, list of text, URLs, images. We want to take a list of um, this here with just the categories. We click once on the first and then twice. You can see that purple area picked up all the various links, all these categories of books. Then if we scroll down here, it's saying column one, it's got contemporary romance, crime, mystery, suspense, right? So it matches to the, to the list. We can say, instead of scraping the text, we can scrape the links. And now it's gonna scrape the URLs. If you wanted to do both, you could add a new column and click again and add the title. But I'm just interested in the categories right now. So let's do that. And that's gonna be it for now. And scroll back up and confirm. And then I'm going to hit done to stop the recording of the steps. Okay. And then what we wanted to do at the end is we wanted to send all that data to Google Sheets. Okay. So I'm going to hit Google Sheets, open my Google Sheet. And I've created just a blank Google Sheet for my data, book data input. It's really the categories. Um, so I've got categories here as the header. And you need a header in here for it to work. So I'm going to grab this URL, come back to Task Magic, enter the URL. Connect Google Sheets to export data scraped from your automation. So it's going to, I want it to be my input data, book data input. And it will scroll, it will scan that, and it will find the categories. Okay, looks good. Then we'll hit play. All right, now it's going to open up that page, and then it's going to try and get all those links. There it is. You can see it getting the links. And right there, it's already pulled in the URLs into my category spreadsheet. Okay, now what can we do with this data? So what I'm gonna do is just copy this URL, come back in here, let's, let's name this scrape categories from website. That's my first automation. And so, you know, you could replicate that with other websites, of course. So now I will do a new automation and we're gonna record. And to start out with, I'm just gonna manually put this URL into the first step, and we're gonna come back to that. So that's the step one. Then what do we want it to do? We want it to scrape all the books, right? So we're gonna uh, scrape this. We're gonna scrape a list of, first let's start with the book name, okay? So I click on the first, click on the second. It's populated that. That's gonna be row one. Then we're gonna go, um, let's just get the, ooh, flush life, okay, so confirm. And then we wanna add another column. And then we want to click on the name. And that's gonna be the author, right? Uh, let's see if it picked those up. Delete column, add new column. There. Now it seems to pick up all of the names. And we will um, also get the URL for the book. So let's do scrape, scrape that, and then change this to scrape links. Okay. Now it's got the link to the individual book. And confirm. Okay. So let's close that. Let's say I'm done. And we're going to come back to the first step here. And instead of a, of a static link, we're going to use a variable. Uh, you can see no variables found. Please connect a trigger and, or add steps that create variables. So um, 
we're going to go set up a trigger and we're going to set up a loop on this category page. So let's set up in Google Sheets, connect to Google Sheets, grab that again. And this is, so this is connecting your Google Sheet to bring in dynamic data. So we want to use the input data, which is the categories. Looks good. We want it to start on row two, right? Because we have a header. I want it to loop one row. Let's do, let's do, I don't know, five, five rows at a time. So it's going to do five categories. Um, we don't really need to turn on scheduling. Okay, so then we can come back to the first step and we should have variable categories. So that will look at each of the URLs, go to each one of them. Okay, so um, we're going to have it loop. We already have that, yeah, so loop five times, okay. And then we're going to send that to Google Sheets. Okay, so let's again paste in our Google Worksheet and let's put it in data output. Okay, book link, book author name. Let me make sure, I'm pretty sure I did author name before book link. And if not, we can always just change the headers of the columns. Author name. And I didn't scrape any of the, that was from another test one, so let's just, uh, well, I'll just ignore them. Okay. And so that looks good. That's got my steps in line. And that'll scrape, again, the, the uh, book name, the book link, and or the book author name and then this is the link scrape list of links okay so perfect let's i think we can just play this and it should take my categories here and it's opening the automation now it's going to contemporary romance and it should that it got the book title the title again now it's gone to the next one and it, and sometimes it doesn't show that it's selecting all these I've noticed but we'll see the data at the end so that's number two this is number three should grab the book names book links and author names this page is empty so it's not going to do anything then it'll move to the next one There it goes. And let's look at our data. Okay, so it's pulled in book title, author name, and the link to the book. And you can see there, there's the link to the book. And so you can, you can see the logic of this where you're chaining one spreadsheet into more data. Now what, what could you do? You could now crawl, you could have it do the same kind of crawl on individual links to grab the image to grab the book description, to grab, I mean, I guess related titles you maybe don't need, to grab the links to the individual book to buy it. So you see you can build out lists um, and enrich your data. And the idea here for me is to uh, cut down on time creating custom post types for WordPress websites, right? So you can crawl, uh, you know, let's say we had to recreate an author website and they had a bunch of books and all the different links and all that stuff it's much better organized this way it's somewhere you can share it and it's grabbing all the actual data for you um, saving you a lot of time to do it manually so anyway that's the idea behind task magic and hopefully you get the idea all right